Hello, and welcome to further coverage of Grand Prix Zayan for the MSCM format. Today we're going to be watching the round four match between Monger on five color angel touched and Fluffy on black green tokens. So important to note is that I believe both players here are currently 2-1 uh, in terms of their set record so far. So this determines who will uh, make the cut for top six and who will end with a 2-2 finish, which is still a respectable set record, but they won't make the cut to top six. At the face of it, I think that Monger is favored in this matchup. Um, he only has two wipes, but he also has loss of card draw um, and just ways to get blockers onto the battlefield. If, if we look at Monger's list, um, any of like Rain's Eye, um, Blood Frenzy, they all kind of like put it, and Bahoom's or like Bahoom's Penance or Bahoom himself, they all put a damper on Fluffy's deck. However, Monger on game one really needs, needs to hit a Singularity's Grasp, otherwise he's just he's just going to lose. Um, game two, he can bring in two more Singularity's Grasp and some other uh, key sideboard cards like Sevid maybe to even it up a little bit. Um, and in Fluffy's case, Fluffy has some good removal and exit and path to mortality for uh, Monger stuff. They also have Titan Snare, which is key to cutting off like most of Monger's deck. It cuts off um, Soul of Ascathia, Imperial Titan, which are Monger's big haymakers. Uh, uh, Cold Grave is also an amazing cyber piece against Monger because Monger's deck is super reliant on the graveyard. And Smoke's Whispers to steal something from Monger could also be coming in. So it could be switching to a more, not mid rangey, but like hate piece card. Okay, so Monger discards Soul of Iscathia and Crystal Wave. Soul is uh, usable from the graveyard, it copies a creature, um, but it's really not what you want to be. I don't, I don't think it's like its top priority for getting into the graveyard right now. Um, I think Monger would probably have much, uh, would have much preferred something like. Uh, Archive Guardian or uh, uh, Blood Frenzy right here. Hmm. If there's some sort of a issue with Fluffy accidentally drawing a card, let's go and see if they're talking about it in the chat. Yeah, a Judge Call. Accidental card drawn by Fluffy. Only known card is at the bottom of the library. Procedure is to leave the bottom card on the bottom and shuffle the extra card in. Okay, so just checking with the, the judges over here. In the meantime, uh, I think Fluffy came in uh, thinking that their deck would perform poorly, but I think what's happening is that the meta is not really expecting creature decks because like, it's a weird like whiplash where it's like, uh, there are lots of cards that uh, do work against creature decks, therefore people don't as often play creature decks. Um, as a result, people don't side or like don't mainboard or sideboard for creature decks as heavily, um, and then in like a weird whiplash um, that makes all in creature decks a little bit better. Of course, it, this deck still gets absolutely destroyed by wipes, um, but it's still if if a wipe doesn't happen, then Fluffy has like some insane curves. Like their ideal is um, turn two seed call into uh, turn three Nomadic Patriarch, because um, that basically gives them six damage swinging out turn three, uh, and they can just keep putting on a clock from there. Turn one Daisy might be even better, honestly, because turn one Daisy um, allows you to go for uh, turn one Daisy, turn two Seed Call, and into uh, nomadic Patriarch, um, and then you swing out turn four for well, if you swing out for twelve, and then if you swing with Daisy both turns, that's lethal on turn four, I believe. So that's a that's a quite the strong line. Unfortunately, Fluffy didn't have that. Instead, they had no turn one play into turn two. Exhausted farmhand. Exhausted farmhand is fairly okay. It works as ramp with the fetches, 
and you can use it to create uh, tokens. So Fluffy not doing anything here. At instant speed, I believe they only have removal, like exit, path to mortality. Um, oh, they also have seed call. So I could see um, if they have a path or um, exit, I could see holding that up plus exhausted farm hedge to be able to nourish on end step. So Monger right now has colors for Blood Frenzy. Um, they're thinking about something. Okay. Playing Angel Touch Crag. And they're tapping out for Unearthed Legion, which is currently a 6 6. Um, Fluffy might just uh, nourish into Exant here. So they discard um, a fetch land to create two tokens. And is that Nomadic, Nomad's Township tapping for Exant mana? It's tapping. And yup, Exant. So then, and that puts Fluffy in a good position, but the problem is Fluffy only has three cards in hand now, while Monger has four, and Monger's graveyard is stacked right now. Only going to be swinging out with the Citizen or swinging out with both? And I almost feel like, depending on what they have, um, they might have instinctively played the Nomad's Township, um, but I think that could have been a bad move. If they have two cards that are gas in their hand, uh, they should have kept the Nomad's Town, or like even in general, I think like uh, should have kept the Nomad's Township in hand uh, so that they can have more gas for Exhausted Farm Hand. And not swinging out with Exhausted Farm Hand means that they're looking to build up more of board. Also, uh, Actually, I guess like another thing is that uh, keeping Exhausted Farmhand untapped uh, gives Fluffy uh, a way to protect against Blood Frenzy. Monger could just play Blood Frenzy right now and kill Exhausted Farmhand, and that's maybe why uh, Monger just went straight to end. Um, what else does Monger have? Monger also has Singularity Grasp at instant speed, uh, but that wouldn't kill the Farmhand, so. That would be a uh, that would be a difficult play to justify, and Monger's taking the damage. So what does Monger have in hand? They have four cards in hand, but they're not doing anything. Could they be stuck with like two Imperial Titan, two Soul of Escathia, or like they actually they discard one Soul of Escathia, but like two Imperial Titan, Soul of Escathia, and then like, uh, God, I don't know. Yeah, what else? Well, what would they have that they wouldn't play? Crystal Wave. They they could be holding up Crystal Wave. Yeah, okay. So they play Crystal Wave. Um, uh, killing. Oh, they did Escalate it, so they only chose the Kill Exhausted Farm. So right now, this puts uh, Monger in a way better position. Because, yeah, so he's, he's probably going to dig for Singularity Grasp, and Singularity Grasp on one just nukes uh, Fluffy's entire board. Um, However, if Monger does get a Nomadic Patriarch next turn, that turns all of these into um, three threes, and that leaves Monger on one life. Because Nomadic Patriarch is always the nut draw here. So Monger really wants... Um, okay, so he discards Soul of Escathia, Angel Touch, Soul Flux. So we know both souls are in his graveyard. Um, and he's got four mana, which means he, he does have enough mana to Singularities, but he's not going to. Instead, he's going to Blood Frenzy... Um, from his graveyard, create three blockers. That's really good for uh, that's really good for Monger here. Um, now Fluff Fluffy needs a like needs Daisy or Nomadic Patriarch here. Nope, Fluffy's just swinging out, and Monger blocks two, and is going to take three damage. So while this might seem like a bad position for Monger because he's down on board and um, he, he's at half a starting life total, having stuff like Bahoom's Penance, Bahoom, Rain, um, 
I mean, this this is a really bad position for Fluffy right here. And ah, that's an unearthed Legion for 15. Uh, Fluffy is going to path to mortality. You know, they're going to exit. And see, that's why. Um, yeah, that's a, that's why keeping up. Oh, oh. I guess Fluffy didn't see that, but yeah, that's why keeping up the ele the elemental rather than blocking with all three was a good move there. Um, see, this is completely in Monger's favor right now, unless Fluffy has path to more. Fluffy's getting all of the removal they need, and the crazy thing is, like, um, path to mortality giving your opponent another creature is usually bad. Um, but Soul of Escathia, which would be the biggest hit here, is not available to Monger because he has both of them in his grave. Imperial Titan is um, not a good card to have in hand, so unless he has Mill, I doubt he'd play it. And Archive Guardian is okay, but it's not like the best threat threat. So yeah, he got Archive Guardian. Oh, and there's the Nomadic Patriarch. So he's, um, Fluffy swings out for six this turn and wins next. Uh, but, but Fluffy's also empty-handed. But yeah, Fluffy swings out for... Oh! They're making a token? Uh, okay. I guess it's the same amount of damage. But no, it isn't. Because if he'd. If Fluffy had uh, nourished on. A, oh, and there it goes. I guess that's what Fluffy was playing against. But yeah, this puts Fluffy in an awful position because now it's okay. Because. Fluffy has three attackers. Monger will be able to create Blood Frenzy. So that's actually a huge misplay from Monger. Um, whenever a creature took... Whenever... Oh my god. Oh, so Monger just loses. Um, so that basically happened from a weird interaction with Nomadic Patriarch and Blood Frenzy, where um, Monger specified in response to attacks uh, as far as I know, so he did plus three, minus three, uh, but I guess since, I, I guess, like, the attackers got plus x, plus x for Nomadic Patriarch's power, because the trigger was still on the stack, like, I, I don't actually, I don't know if that's how that works, that feels unintuitive to me, but they both seem to know the ruling, so Monger loses game one. And he'd almost seem to stabilize there. Uh, so, game two, I think we're seeing uh, maybe Titan Snare uh, come in. I think Cold Grave for sure, absolutely. And then maybe Smoke's Whispers. I think Smoke's Whispers as a, a way to just grab a Singularity's Grasp out of uh, Monger's deck is really good because Singularity's Grasp is like the one card you don't want Monger to have. So just yoinking it. It's also like technically a way to get hand information if you use it like in uh, early turns because you can, you can if you take the time, you can look at like what they have in their entire library and then deduce like, okay, um, this is what they must have in hand given it's not in their library. Uh, meanwhile, Monger is Free, bring in Singularity's Grasp in for free. Uh, I think Crystal Wave as well, because you want point and click removal for uh, Nomadic Patriarch. It's a kill on sight card. Uh, maybe Sevid just to create block. I think Sevid will probably come in just to create blockers um, in exchange for like Recall Forgotten Aeons. And I think that's probably what we're going to see. And wow, this is a black green tokens, which I think everyone was low on at the start, Fluffy themselves, um, might be making the cut to uh, top six over Angel Touched, which I believe got first and definitely got first at a GP, and then either first or second at another GP. So this this really shows like just play the decks you love and as long as you're like w willing to put in the time to um, tune them and make them better and like adjust to the meta, sometimes just miracles can happen. Okay, of course, 
I'm talking as though Fluffy has won the entire set already. They haven't. So let's see how they do in game two. Um, so Monger leads with an unquenched greed. Uh, and you really don't want Monger to have con cantrips early. You don't want him to be able to draw into Singularity's grasp. He's thinking hard, so he that this he might just have all gas, which again, is not something that you want your opponent to have. So you discard Bahum's Penance and Blood Frenzy. Blood Frenzy is very good for Monga's graveyard because it gives him like three free blockers for two mana. Of course, three life is not exactly free, but it's it, if you're blocking their creatures, then it's pretty free. Ah, and the turn one cold grave, which I'm assuming it's taking out Blood Frenzy. Yep, yep. And Cold Grave is just so damaging. So now Monger needs a Singularity's Grasp, essentially. And turn one, what are you tapping for? Dark wait, Fluffy has Dark Bargain in their deck? Interesting. I did not know that. Um yeah, I missed it. Dark Bargain. So I guess they're just using that to draw into something better. But yeah, Cold Grave. Yeah, does what does Monger have that can stop this other than Singularity's Grasp? I think the answer is may, like maybe Rain's Eye. Uh may, like maybe like Imperial Titan, even like Fluffy, it can like just do Cold Grave in response. Yeah, this is not a good place for a monger to be in. So, oh God, wait, what happened? So, monger played Leyline Alignment Field, and uh, what do they have in Graveyard? Oh, they have Bahum's Penance and Unquenched Greed. So that would give them access to five mana next turn. Now they are, I don't, I guess that that was a good play by Monger since it immediately forces um, Fluffy to proc Cold Grave. But it depends on what he has. And also Fluffy not having a turn two play is so damaging. But Monger doesn't either. And, oh, oh wait, what is this? What does Monger have that he could be holding up for this mana? And, and the answer is nothing. Monger just has, even from side, yeah, everything is uh, dual colored. So they, they, oh my God. So Monger just doesn't have it. They don't have their third land drop. They don't have anything they can play. And Fluffy's going to be dropping a Smoke's Whispers. Yep. And let's see what they're grabbing. I think probably Singularity's Grasp, just to keep it out of Monger's deck. Or maybe a cantrip, depending on how badly their hand is doing. But I think likely you just want to keep Singularity's Grasp out of Monger's deck. Fluffy saying, got some goodies here for sure. Uh, yeah, Mon being able to cast any like any and all of Monger's deck just for free is pretty spicy. Um, I guess Rain's Eye could be really good next turn. Uh, but again, I still think that Fluffy just wants a Singularity's Grasp. No, okay, they're they're gonna grab Rain's Eye. Uh, I don't know if I agree. Okay, I, I guess Rain's Eye gives Fluffy. Um, I guess Rain's Eye does give Fluffy game versus wipes because it gives Fluffy the ability to rebuild. Dark Barkin? Yeah, okay. We can't trip him out here. And I guess Fluffy. This is like a weird act. Like I, I, like in my set versus Fluffy, I also felt this. Where it's like, Black Green Tokens is like the a weird capacity with Smoke Whispers to just kind of flip into it. Oh, and another. Oh no, I don't know that this was the right time to play Cold Grave because you don't have mana up. Um, you could have just played it next turn, dude. When Monger could have melt something. Like cantrip something. I don't think that this is the right play. But Monger, oh my God, Monger ha still doesn't have anything. Oh, this is, yeah, okay. So, if playing Rain's Eye, probably creating a spirit token, and then holding up one mana for either Cold Grave or Dark Bargain is what I think their uh, Fluffy's play is going to be. But yeah, the, the Smoke Whispers gives Fluffy's deck like a weirdly grindy control feel. Like, if, if if Fluffy draws a hand with it, of course. Okay. So Forest and Daisy, Heart of Chasmic. You don't really want to be milling Daisy, but the Forest is okay because you have lots of... Oh, no. I think that could have been a mistake. 
Like, I don't think, because you don't have the mana to do anything with Dark Barkin. Uh, and you want to hold up the one mana for Cold Grave, just in case uh, Monger does get something. Like, if Monger, like, um, manages to get something into Grave that's, like, uh, impactful now, I, like, I, I don't know if there is a line like that, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but Monger, Monger is, this is such bad luck for Monger. He's not drawing any lands, but I guess Leyline is on three because of Crystal Wave. And again, this is why, this is why Fluffy should have uh, held up their Cold Grave, because now they could have exiled um, this Crystal Wave and prevented Monger from potentially having three mana next, I guess they would have three mana anyways, but like, just potentially. And no, and like I, I guess Fluffy is hoping that like and they're just hoping to keep Monger off like Leyline, but you they only have three Cold Grave. You've spent two Cold Grave. Oh, they're gonna zero rain to bring back Cold Grave. Oh no, they're gonna bring back Daisy. Okay, this is I think this is a series of misplays from uh, Fluffy. Okay, sprouting, fine. But I think um it, it, it doesn't have, like these things don't have haste, so I think Fluffy should have swung out with the spirit token and then sacrificed it. Oh, okay, never mind what I was saying about this being a misplay. Okay. And then with Daisy next turn. Oh man. Okay. Okay, the double sprouting really gives some context for this. Um, and Monger still doesn't have anything. The third land drop is elusive and far out of sight. Okay, so... Fluffy has six cards in hand as well. So they could have Daisy, they could have Daisy and then Nomadic Patriarch. And then just win. I doubt it, but they could. Daisy gives them. Okay, so they have Daisy. So that's uh, that's twelve damage. So that's a two turn clock on Monger. What else do they? What what else do you have in hand, Fluffy? What you got? Which I think it's literally impossible for Monger to win this right now. Um, they don't have the mana to Singularity's Grasp. Because they need a Singularity's Grasp for two. Um, with, okay, that would require them to have uh, four colors in Graveyard, uh, two of which are black and green. But they don't. And this is, this is, of course, assuming that Monger already has Singularity's Grasp, but he just straight up might not. See, I think this is going to Fluffy 2-0. I, uh, I guess Monger could have um, Blood Frenzy on Daisy. And then, but then he still takes he'd still take seven damage next turn. No matter what way, which way he's been, this is a really bad place for Monger to be in. And not, not hitting his third land drop is just unlucky. And also Fluffy having two Cold Graves. That's also like another... Like Fluffy kind of hit like a perfect roll here. And Rain's not like... And Rain's Eye is just kind of an MVP in Fluffy's deck. It he creates tokens, he can recur permanence, he can tr trigger killing stuff for sprouting. Like, surprisingly versatile. I'm like, I was thinking that Fluffy would want to grab uh, Singularity's Grasp, which I think is the better choice objectively if Monger wasn't uh, tapped all the way out with no mana ever. But uh, this Rain's Eye in the specific situation where Monger was, in fact, uh, never going to draw his third land, uh, Rain gives a uh, fluffy game in terms of like being able to actually create tokens with Sprouting and get ba getting back Daisy, etc. 
So Fluffy is currently going to go check something on the rulings, which I am confused about because what ruling are you going to check that will be relevant as to whether or not you will win the game here? Maybe like whether she can whether Fluffy can sacrifice Daisy in response to her being targeted by Crystal Wave to protect herself, but Daisy would still be sacrificed. Like, I don't know, bro. Are they gonna path to on instep path to mortality their own Daisy to go get nomadic patriarch? That would be that would be like a ten thousand. IQ play. Um, uh, I guess we should be. I, I guess I should be looking at uh, Fluffy's deck list to see what they could be think, thinking of here. Um, villains, the musical, maybe. But if they had villains, they would have played it earlier. Because if if they had villains, they would have played it already by now. Um, yeah, I don't know. And also, I guess they could have cast Cam Camouflage Sparios earlier, but I don't know. Oh, what happened? Oh, boundless evolution. So I I don't know what the point of that was, if I'm being perfectly honest. It's just kind of cool overkill, but it really comes down to does Monger have Oh, and that's it. Wow. And it's a fluffy two O's monger and takes the three one record to carry them to top six.